Hi, and welcome to my blog. My name is Lily. I'm the author of a thriller novel in progress named Talents. Unfortunately, I won't be sharing any snippets of my story today. My dream last night inspired me to write what it would be like to meet a character in real life. So without further ado, my dream. Have you ever wondered what would happen? From some stroke of luck or out of a fairy tale, your character came to life. <laughs> for better or for worse, it is possible. At least while you're dreaming. Characters have the magical power to invade and sometimes haunt you in your dreams. My character Sam was one of those such characters. The dream was an exquisite combination of fantastical peculiarity and real life. I was writing a dangerous scene when I fell asleep. A scene that nearly destroyed the no protagonist. When I started dreaming, the character and I were in court. Arguing a case for which neither of us had a lawyer. Of course, why would you need a lawyer to defend yourself in your own dream? My character accused me of attempted murder and points to the scene he had written just before I had fallen asleep at my desk. I noticed my character muttering beneath his breath, plotting against me. This wasn't an unusual occurrence, as I was known to be hated by the protagonists in my stories. Come to think of it, the only characters that ever liked me were the villains. We even had tea parties to discuss the various ways they could carry out their plans. That is, until they were miserably beaten by the hero. <laughs> My relationship with characters can be hopelessly complicated. And in this case, the hero did not have one bit of respect for me in his bones. It was understandable. After all, I had written him to have lived it terrible circumstances. I had ruined his childhood. Had the villain kill his pet dog when the dog defended him, and let him hang over a pit of lava at the mercy of his greatest enemy. But as shameless as it sounds, I don't have any regret. Whether or not Sam understood the method behind the madness, it was for his own good. He was a hero to his own nation. And this is how he repaid me by threatening to incarcerate me in my own dreams. Scratch that, a nightmare. So typical. Has the jury yet made a verdict? The judge asked the infamous question. We have, Your Honor. We found the defendant not guilty. Was the jury's rather surprising response. I could hardly believe it. I was free. I had defeated the nightmare. But Sam refused to accept it. I demand a retrial. Order! Order in the court! That's enough! The judge exclaimed. All charges against the defendant are dropped. This court is now adjourned. Finally. Now, if you'll excuse me. This isn't over yet! And, like so, I won the case. I must say, the experience of the dream has certainly enlightened me. Never be on my wildest dreams had I thought or anticipated that a character would retaliate me in that way or try to put me in jail for my literary crimes against them. I've learned my lesson. Instead of writing such things at late hours and giving characters an opening to attack my exhausted, unconscious state, I'll write those rather troubling scenes early in the morning instead.